Well, it's the 2nd of October. Finally digging a few potatoes here. Crop is not what it is some years, but there's still some big bruisers out here. Somebody's coming to check out what I'm doing. The formerly wild black cat. One of her kittens. Anyway, this potato patch is severely infested with pigweed. Apparently I've neglected my weed killing the past month or so. So I gotta pull most of these weeds out of the way to find the potatoes. No help from the cats, they're just gonna come and watch. What a beautiful day for the 2nd of October. I think we're going to be well above normal again. Smoke in the air, somebody burning something somewhere. No wind, which is always a rare treat in this province. Anyway, I got work to do. Well, that's not bad for one plant. These are the yellow variety. Not sure if they're Dutch, but uh, wow, they are huge. I'm gonna have to weigh some of these and just see what they weigh in at. That was uh, another plant. I'm calling that red. Yeah, we got a ways to go in the weed patch, but uh, it ain't gonna happen in one day. Blue skies coming in, good weather. What's the rush? Well, would you look at the size of them potatoes? I keep thinking I've seen the biggest ones. These were all from uh, all from under one plant. So there's one, two, three, four huge ones, and three little guys here. Not bad. Anyway, got uh, over a row and a half left to go. Getting some done in the early morning relatively early morning here before the heat of the day hits. It's supposed to hit 29 Celsius, which I think is somewhere up around 80 degrees. Okay, just out of curiosity. That's a three pound potato. Another one here. I think it's a shade lighter. No, it's a fraction heavier. So just over three pounds. That's gotta be some kind of a record. Might as well record some of this. A little bit of a hastily arranged fire guard here. Yeah, this was an unplanned fire. The neighbor was burning stubble and the wind blew some embers apparently get into my fence line and burn some trees. Luckily it wasn't too big and they were able to get ahead of it and till down a fire guard. So uh, we're good. Looks like a good 100, 150 feet maybe. Should be adequate. Unfortunately, we've lost a little bit of that underseeded grass and alfalfa. I don't know if it'll survive this pro tilling or not. I guess time will tell.